I'm Daniel, you're watching Daniel Tech and let's say you forgot your passcode and your iPhone is locked just like mine because I put you demonstrate of course and uh, you don't know how to do it, uh, you don't know how to access your phone, you need your information and you just can't access it. So how can you solve this situation? Um, I've been filming these videos for quite a lot of time, how to remove a forgotten passcode of your iPhone or iPad. This is the fourth year I do this and these videos are great. So let's just go ahead and continue with the good work and keep in mind that I'm going to show you in this video how to do it uh, from like any device you have. Okay, So if you have an iPhone 4, 2, doesn't matter, the first iPhone until the iPhone 10, which is this one. Uh, the method changes a little bit depending on your device, but I'm going to show you everything. So don't worry about that. Okay, So all you're going to need is your iPhone, of course, or your iPad. You're going to need a computer. Okay, It doesn't need to be a Mac, can be a Windows PC, can be a Linux machine, and you need a lightning cable. Okay, The cable you get, the cable you use to charge your phone. That's it. Okay, So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you guys can see here, I've got my computer, okay, it doesn't need to be a Mac, as I said, it can be a Windows or it can be a Linux, and the only software you're going to need is iTunes, okay, so don't worry, uh, iTunes is free, and if you have an iPhone, you probably already have iTunes anyway, so you just need iTunes for the process of removing the passcode, okay, one little disclaimer before we begin, you will lose all your information, okay, uh, there is no way to do that without restoring or erasing your iPhone. Okay, there's no way we can remove the passcode, bypass the passcode without removing your information. This is a safety feature, okay, that Apple gives you. So if a thief or somebody gets your phone, uh, they don't actually uh, bypass and get your information. They they they'll have your phone, okay? They can sell it or whatever, but at least your information is safe. And continue with the disclaimer: if you're using this because you're a thief or if you find a phone in the street, uh, shame on you, okay? This is not for you. This is for educational purposes and for people who are actually doing that on their own devices. Okay, so let's get started. Right here, I have an iPhone 10 and it is disabled for 12 minutes, okay? But I'm gonna teach you now how you can do this for older devices first and then I'm gonna climb all the way up to newer devices like this one, okay? So, if you have um, an iPhone 6S or older, it means you have a physical home button right there, which means that it actually presses like a proper button, it travels down, even if the phone is off, okay? So that means you have an older phone. With an older phone, the process is quite simple. All you have to do is plug your phone here, okay? Plug your device, and then plug it to your Mac. I'm not gonna plug it right now because then it's gonna mess up with the process because it's different with the iPhone 10, okay? So then you plug to your computer, and as soon as everything is plugged up, all you have to do is hold the power button and hold the home button, okay? Hold both these buttons together and keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until it restarts and you see the Apple logo and then you're gonna see the uh, uh, recovery mode right here. Window, uh, iTunes will pop up a window showing you it recognizes your phone in recovery mode. Okay, so plug, power button, home button, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until uh, you get the pop-up. Okay, this is the process for iPhone 6s or older. If you have an iPhone 7, the process is similar. So plug your plug your cable to your phone and plug your cable to your computer. Okay, plug it right here to the computer. Uh, and then all you have to do is hold the power button and hold the volume down button. Okay, so hold both these buttons while plugged up. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, same thing, and after about a minute or even less than that, you get the iTunes pop-up screen with saying that your iPhone was recognized in recovery mode. Okay? So then we recovered every iPhone until the iPhone 7. And of course, this includes the pluses. Okay? So 6 Plus, 6, 6 X Plus. 6s plus and 7 plus if you have an iphone 8 or an iphone 10 i'm going to show you right now so for the iphone 8 and the iphone 10 uh you can differentiate you can differentiate the iphone 8 and the iphones to the iphone 7 pretty simply the front is exactly the same the 8 and the 7 you have this uh not physical button this virtual button that it doesn't press uh if your phone is uh, uh turned off but the back is made out of glass okay so if the back is made of aluminum then you got an iPhone 7 if the glass is the back is made of a glass then you have an iPhone, either an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 uh, and it doesn't really matter okay the process is the same for the iPhone 8 8 plus or 10 okay so 
let's get let's cover the last iPhones. So plug your iPhone okay to the cable and then plug it to your Mac. Now I'm actually gonna do this, alright? So I'm plugging it right here. It's plugged. Charging. iTunes has opened automatically, don't worry, okay? And then it's saying welcome to your new iPhone. Don't worry about that. You're gonna need to work here. So the process for the 8 and 8 Plus and 10 is volume up, volume down, side button or power button. Okay? So I'm going to do it with you. So volume up, volume down, hold side button. And I'm going to keep holding it. I'm going to keep holding it until it turns off. It has turned off right now and I'm still turning it as you guys can see. I'm not touching the volume buttons. I'm just holding the power button. So keep holding that. See the Apple logo right there. And then you can release because we've got the famous screen. Let me just zoom in a little bit. We've got the famous. There is a problem with iPhone. iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. Okay. If you need to remove your passcode, you're going to need to restore it. And again, you're going to lose all your information. But don't worry, you get, you're going to get your iPhone brand new. Okay, you're going to get it brand new without a problem. Uh, you can set a new passcode, you can put your Apple ID. It doesn't matter if you forgot it, you can create a new Apple ID. So you are formatting your phone, getting it brand new out of the box. Okay, so all you're going to need to do is hit restore. And then, of course, we're going to need to restore and update because this is an automatic process. So then it's saying because I'm, I'm downloading iOS 11.2.5, doesn't matter. Uh, iTunes will automatically get the latest version for you. So all you need to do is hit next. You don't need to select anything. Hit agree. And then, as you guys can see, iPhone is currently in recovery mode. Okay. And it is downloading the iPhone software update. It's going to take 15 minutes. It's probably going to take a little bit less than that. But of course, I'm not going to have you waiting all of that. So I'm going to cut until uh, when that's finished. Okay, guys, one thing that is very important. Uh, if it takes uh, longer for the download to finish than the time your phone was originally locked, for example, if it was 15 minutes locked, but it takes 20 minutes to download, for example, uh, your iPhone, after being, uh, after that time, okay, after the 15 minute lock, it will automatically turn on again, okay? But it will turn on automatically with the same 15 minute warning. So all you have to do is go through the process again. I just did that, okay? So you have to go through the process of putting it to restore mode, like volume up, volume down, turn it off, uh, go through, through the process again while the thing is being downloaded right here. So I just put my iPhone to restore mode the second time, no problem, and then now I have three minutes left, okay? three minutes on the original download. So then I'm just waiting for that original download time with my iPhone in this screen, okay? It needs to be in this screen. So if it boots up, put it right back into restore mode again, okay? Okay, now we are 10 seconds to go. Just keep in mind that um, put again in restore mode, in restore mode, the same way you did it for the first time, okay? Just to be clear. I said volume up, volume down because this, this is the situation for the iPhone 10. But if you have another device, just put it again in restore mode the same way you did it the first time. Okay, so now it is processing file. It says done. Okay, so now all you have to do is go ahead and click restore iPhone. So restore and update. And right here is saying extracting software okay keep in mind that for this whole process your phone needs to be plugged to your computer uh, so plugged here and plugged to the Mac or the Windows or whatever okay and you don't need to do anything with the phone really you don't need to press any buttons or anything just wait while iTunes does its thing so preparing iPhone for restore waiting prepare again and then here as you guys can see Apple logo has just appeared, so it is not the uh, iTunes logo with the cable pointing it. It's already being restored, okay? Verifying iPhone restore with Apple. So as I said, it's a pretty straightforward process. 
the only thing you need to do really is put it in restore mode as I mentioned very carefully uh, download the software if the thing uh, if the phone boots up automatically put it in restore mode again respecting uh, the the restore process of your device and then finally hit restore and when the download is done and wait for iTunes to do its thing it's not gonna take much longer now um, it's saying restoring iPhone software finally and as you guys can see we've got the Apple logo with the loading bar at the bottom this process takes about maybe five to ten minutes because it fills this bar twice okay so as soon as this processing here is done I'll be back so now we are prompted with the message your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting uh, da -da 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 -da, and then like if you just press OK it restarts automatic okay automatically so as I said it is automatically restarting now and it is uh, doing the second uh, progress bar okay now the rest of the process will be done with your iPhone so you can already close your computer you don't need it anymore and then you can slide up or slide to the side or whatever depending on your device and then uh, start setting up your phone okay as if it was brand new okay so put your country and everything else uh, pretend it is coming brand new out of the box okay so then you can set it up manually and then uh, choose a Wi-Fi network or use it or use cellular connection of course so it may take a few minutes to activate your phone and after a couple minutes setting up my phone I've got access back to it uh, factory new okay so no no software no anything uh, so that's pretty much it now you can go ahead and put a new passcode that you will remember and everything like that okay so that's pretty much it if you like this video please hit the like button down there and also uh, the subscribe button I'm gonna put a bubble right there so you can click very easily and I'm gonna put a video down here that 